and Jost. Colin, welcome to Star Talk. Thank Did you. I pronounce your name right? Jost? Uh, Colin, but Colin. Yeah, Jost. Yeah, you're Colin right. Colin Jost. Most people get Jost wrong, so you're you're already ahead of the game. Uh, no, I'm only half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I did better than others in that and worse than the other. All right. No, that makes me dead even, I think. Yeah. Right. I got you on to just ask me these questions. You're going to be sort of the everyman person out there. That's because right. we get questions, and, and for this particular show, we've culled together all the questions on time travel, because that's what this show's been about. And I've not seen these questions in advance, but you've uh, reviewed them from Facebook and Twitter and every other way yeah. people have access to us. So fire on. Oh yeah. So this this one, this next one is from uh, Google Plus. Like even better. Oh, I never met even, Google Plus. I was even <laughs> better than Google. Just a little bit better. So Mr. Plus. It's a little question. more charged. A little more charged. Um, this question comes from Fraser Kane of mm -hmm. the website Universe Today, and it's a question I've also wondered many times. Doesn't the fact that there are no time travelers now? prove that time travel will never be invented in the future. Yeah, that's an excellent point. And I've always thought about that because I said to myself, in fact, if you watch the TV, the CBS sitcom, The Big Bang Theory, uh, in the roommate contract of, <laughs> <laughs> I know you got to be totally in the show yeah, for no, this, no, but no. Uh, in the roommate contract that stipulated that if I, 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 I if I'm getting the details of it wrong, the sense of it is right. If they'll, any, they'll still be very excited. <laughs> if any one of them invents a time machine in the future, they have to go back to that moment that they're reading that phrase in the roommate contract to show up in the room. And so, <laughs> so they're going through the contract, <laughs> and then they pause That's for a great. moment. No, nope, okay, we have, you know, you're not the one who invents the time machine in the future. That's the ultimate, like, let's agree to meet back here 10 years from now, but it's at the same time. Ex that's awesome. Exactly. And so I think that's a, that's a pretty good argument. And I don't have a rebuttal to that. But what if people are hiding it? What if people have come back but are not telling people for some reason because okay. they want to give something away? There's a quote, I think it was from Raoul Dahl, but others perhaps have said it, that the only secret that can be kept between two people is when one of them is dead. So I'm Someone pretty would let it, yeah. sure yeah. that if a time machine were out there, people would have figured that one out. It's been rumored that the uh, the reason why the Titanic sank is because in the future they invented a time machine and everyone wanted to go back to the Titanic to see the iceberg when it hits. <laughs> and then it overloaded the Titanic oh, and, that's it, great. and it sank. Right. Oh, well, now I'm convinced. So <laughs> there's the evidence. You're looking for evidence? There we go. That's we got hard, it. hard, hardcore evidence. So uh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. And it may, it might be that your time travel machine can only take you into the future, and then you don't have these paradoxes of well, killing your grandmother and then you're never born yeah, to go back in the, back to the future stuff. In the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there's a movie too coming out called Looper or Loopers that with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis, and he goes back in time. He's like an assassin that goes back in time. And he goes back and he's scheduled to kill himself. So he has to, like, figure out what to do about it. You know what's interesting? All these TV shows, they have people going back and killing people. All you have to do, <laughs> but all you have to do is pick a time where two of your ancestors who mated produced one of your ancestors. And all you have to do is prevent them from mating. You don't have to kill anybody. Just, just... Just your great 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 grandparents prevent him from meeting. You would have never been born. <laughs> yeah, just the, enough of the killing. Right, yeah. right. Forget the blood and guts. And so <laughs> it doesn't take much to completely alter the path of who's alive and who was never born and who was never conceived in this world. Yeah. Um, all right. Next question here comes from Facebook.